Hello everyone, it's me, Gabby, back with another video because I bought something random from Japan and I wanted to show it off to people. So right now it's the beginning of February, which for me in my nerdy life year schedule means that it's the start of a new Pretty Cure season. Pretty Cure being the long-running Magical Girl franchise that I have been following for over like 10 years now. The new season always starts at the beginning of February or so, and when a new season comes out, it also means that there's new merchandise. They've got all these new toys related to the new season and they want to sell them, and the fact that they do manage to sell them is, you know, pretty much the reason why the franchise has been going this whole time, I think. You may remember that around this time last year, the merchandise for the season that just ended, Hiragari Sky Pretty Cure, well, it was just so cool that I basically said, I am going to go and buy this from Japan. It turns out it actually wasn't that difficult. All I just needed to use was use the um, Jap Japanese Amazon and you don't even need to know Japanese or anything for it. The Everything's still in English if you want to. It's just that some of the instructions are in Japanese. But now that I know that I can do it, I kind of was like, I might be doing this regularly. That being said, the merchandise that I've seen so far for the new season, wonderful, pretty cure, it's not really exciting me that much. It's not like it's bad or whatever, it's just uh, it, it, it's just another another packed toy. Uh, packed being kind of like short for compact. I swear there's been like, this is something like the fifth, fourth or fifth time that they've done a, a packed thing for like the, the, the main sort of transformation item. And they all kind of look the same and feature wise, they're all kind of the same. Like this is like the third one in something like five years. It's, it's kind of ridiculous. So for me personally, um, it didn't really catch my interest. But I guess I was just still in this sort of, oh, new pretty cure cool season, new toy sort of hype. And I was like, I want to buy something. And so I decided instead of buying the new one, I would buy an old one, one from like five years ago. Before I thought it would actually be quite difficult to buy a bunch of these toys that came out a few years ago because I pretty much have to still buy it secondhand. But so surprisingly, it wasn't that difficult to find people selling them that were also shipping to Australia. So I actually managed to, to get my hands on one, which was really cool. And I want to see what it's all like. So uh, I've got the box. I've got the Amazon Japan box. What's inside the box? Let's find out. They open up the box and what is this? This is... Here we go. Here we have it. So this is uh, the transformation item from Hug to Pretty Cure, which was the season in like, I think 2018, according to the, the copyright sticker, which sounds about right. For anybody who knows me, it's probably not too surprising. Hakuto Pretty Cure is probably my favorite Pretty Cure season, basically because it made me cry many times. And not because it's depressing, it's just because it's so wholesome, I guess, and covers surprisingly complex issues. It's not to say that, like, it's actually quality-wise, it's amazing or anything. It, it just more personally resonated with me the most, I think. I don't know if it was because the director, Junichi Sato, is like a veteran or magical girl and shoujo anime in general, or because the writer was just like really cooking. Like it, it's kind of just like let them cook the season because it, it covers topics that you're not really expecting and covers them surprisingly maturely. Like it is kind of the mature magical girl series, but without it actually being, you know, for mature audiences. It's like kids will watch it and enjoy it, but adults it's like, oh God, oh God, like this villain hits really hard, really close to home, and this character hits really close to home. Like when it when when it hits, it hits. And like the last like 10 episodes of the series, I was basically crying every single time because it's just so wholesome. Back then I did a video with um, Hail Zeon because I managed to get them to watch it as well. And like she was just also being like, oh God, this is also really emotionally resonating with me. So, you know, it's, it's definitely a season I enjoy a lot. So even though honestly, this is not my favorite transformation item in the series or anything, that one would actually probably still go to the Hiragari Sky one that I bought last year, but because this season means so much to me, I was like, I should buy merchandise from that season. Of course, because this came out in 2018, I had to get this second hand. And you can kind of see by, you can see there's a bit of da d damage on the boxes. You know, this is clearly not new, new. Also, interestingly, when I was looking around it and I was, you know, just looking at the, the, the thing, I found this sticker from Book Off. 
Um, I looked it up and Book Off is like, a, it, it was originally like a secondhand bookstore chain in Japan, but then they started kind of branching out and doing like, you know, other secondhand everything. So, you know, like electronics and games and all that kind of stuff. And I guess assuming then, you know, toys is part of that, secondhand toys. So I don't know what exactly happened if somebody like sold this, gave it to Book Off and then Book Off like they, somebody bought it from Book Off and then decided to sell it over Amazon or something like that. But hey, as long as I can get it, which I have, I'm I'm very happy with that. So, you know, all, all, all good for me. It is very clearly a secondhand item, but as long as it mostly works, I think it's fine. Like I, actually my Sky Mirage from my, my thing that I bought last year is already sort of not working properly. Part of that was because I think I gave it to my little niece and nephew to play for a little bit. And like, it's supposed to be three and up and my niece is two. So maybe that was probably not the best idea. But on the other hand, if I have literal, if I've bought literal children's toys made for children, and then I tell literal children, no, you're not allowed to play with this thing because it's my collector's item. Like that's a bit, that's a bit lame, isn't it? I think it's a, I, I feel like I was doing a service and I'm not just being one of those weird nerds who's like, no, it's made for children, but you're not allowed to have fun with it, you know? So anyway, hopefully this one still works, even though it's like five years old, but we'll see. I guess uh, let's maybe just start by looking at the box. So this is called the, it's called the pre, pre-heart. Pre, like, I'm not exactly sure how you phonetically pronounce it, but I think it's like pre-heart because it is, so it is like a cell phone device looking thing, mobile phone thing. And then this little flap thing, it, it like, uh rotates outwards and it makes it look like a heart shape which is you know it's it's not it's not i don't think it's the most unique thing in the world i, I mean cell phones are like the like generic mat like not even magical girl like sentai transformation item you know you need if it's if, if you're not you'd have no idea what to do you'd make it look like a, a mobile phone but you know the, you have this gimmick of this thing that moves that makes it look like a heart it's you know it's quite clever there's a little thing there, there where you like you can touch it with your finger and it can apparently sense that um so yeah you know the box where we have the you know the item we've got uh cure yell the main main character and the other the others uh cure Ange and cure et well and these these are the little trinkets for each one you put each one in and that's the you get each character's transformation um what's there on the top there oh it's just some more other stuff um i guess yeah this is probably the thing so you know you can put it on a um on a supermarket uh retailer shelf and you know put it in the hanger there um back is just you know information about how you use it and all that kind of stuff um because, you know, there's different ways you can use it. And here's like, oh, here's all the other things you can buy, like the baby. The baby. I think it's kind of interesting. Hugto is a series that is surprisingly progressive, you could say. But it's, even though it's the season where they tried to put a lot of emphasis on the magical baby and taking care of the magical baby and then being like mothers, uh, it's also surprisingly um, progressive with its discussion of gender roles. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, besides another view of that at the side view is like oh hey here's the different characters different attacks nothing on the bottom you know information etc etc so that's the box so it comes with uh at the back here there's some instructions uh i think this is yeah this is before so this was back in the day where like when i got the uh the sky mirage from last year they didn't have these kinds of instruction booklets anymore i guess you know to save paper and all that now they just do them online and you say you know you go online and that's fair enough if you want parents this is more for parents than for children so you know if the parents already probably know how to look on things online i don't know what this piece of paper is oh no that's just about my order on amazon that's not important so this is what it comes with so that's the pre heart the main one here. There's a little, uh, I think this is this is like a little you know necklace thing if you want to carry something. I think it's, uh, I don't know if it's the pretty heart or if it's one of these things. But, you know, it's like a, if you, actually, I think it says, it's had it here in the instructions. Uh, I'll have to Google Translate that later to see what that says, what exactly it's for. But, um, yeah, there's now a little chain for one of these things. These things are the Mirai crystals or, you know, future crystals. Uh, so that's one for each of the characters and that's like the one that you put in when you don't want to put one of these in and yeah that's just now the chain for if you want to carry these things over the interesting thing as well is actually when I was like 
uh, I so one of the reasons why I opened this thing early is because I when I was carrying the box around, I kept hearing shaking and I was like, oh no, is something loose or is something broken or something along those lines? So I looked in it and I, it came with a bonus. Actually, it came with a few bonuses, some very interesting things. That I'm really interested to see what they actually are and why they gave them to me. So I got a little bonus, which was, I think this one, which is another Mirai crystal. This one is not for a transformation. I'm pretty sure this one is for Cure Mashiri, but not for her transformation. It's the one for her attack, but for her attack, you need to put it in the guitar toy, which I don't own. So I guess this was a bonus, I guess, maybe. I, as you can see, it also still has the chain in it. I guess just, you know, whoever returned this and gave this the book off, maybe also gave this as well. So the, but the other weird, really interesting thing is they came with these two things, pieces of plastic. And... I had no idea why these things were included, but I have a feeling that these things, if you, because if you look at the back of any Mirai crystal, it's got that plastic thing as well. I think what this, these might be, I could be wrong, but these might be because they don't have the Mirai crystals for Kyo Mashiri and Kyo Amor's transformations because those were sold separately. Maybe these plastic things are essentially the bits that unlock those transformations, even if I don't have the Mirai crystals. I don't know for sure if that is the case, that would be super cool because then that means that, you know, I don't have to worry about that if I wanted to get all of the sound files. So in the meantime, I'm going to go and unbox, take this stuff out and just sort of see what I need to do. So here we go. This is the main pretty pre-heart itself. I think it looks pretty cool. It's very pink, obviously. I think, you know... Maybe they, hopefully these, these things are getting progressively more colorful over time because like this one's still mostly pink. It's got some, you know, little white fake little crystals on it, but it's not that. It's a little bit of gold there, but you know, it's mostly just pink stuff. Like if I pay attention really closely, it's like, oh, you know, there's a bit of that pink there is a bit like a little scratch on it or whatever. But like, like I said, I, I, I honestly don't care as long as it's functional and I get the gist of it. It, it, I mean, you know, for something that was secondhand, it does still, you know, is surprisingly good quality. So I, 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 I kind of wonder what the story is, you know, who bought this, who decided to return this. I, I, I do wonder these things, but yeah. Um, so it's, 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 you know, it's cool. Um, you know, uh, one thing I like, there are three buttons here, not just one, which is helpful. I mean, sometimes it's like kind of a sort of two buttons the, the the sky mirage only really has one button and so you have to just like press button and hold it as like separate features and it's like hopefully this could give you more easier to play with because you've got more options there um obviously you have it's the pink blue and yellow for the three main main protagonists this thing is the you put your finger on that for part of the toy and now i guess i'll show you the the cool actually i'll show you the back first the back as well has got more of those heart things you'll see that supported later this was interesting i didn't see it has a little uh little uh illustration thing of hugtan the little magical baby in this season um speakers that's the on off switch doesn't look like it's a, this has an a or a b mode it's just on off switch which is interesting um and yeah, obviously there's batteries. I, I I tried just to check and, you know, there, there, there's no batteries in it, which is probably a good thing, honestly, because even now, they even though I mean, I have to get my own batteries for it. It means, you know, no, no, no potential battery leakage or whatever. But anyway, let me show you the cool gimmick about this thing. So you take this, I think it's this direction. And then you go, uh, uh, no, is it, or is it, you go like this, this way? Like that, there we go. And then it's now a heart shape. And then you pull it back. And it's a phone again. Heart shape and a phone. That's, you know, I like it's it's not a particularly special, like amazing, amazing gimmick, but it's a gimmick that helps us stand out from just the other ones. There are some that is um kind of almost, you know, just a, a, a toy or just just like a phone toy and don't really have as many interesting things. So I, I like this. This makes it stand out a bit, you know. Yeah, look, it's a heart. I think it's I think that is pretty cool. And then when you have the heart shape, then you hold it like that, and then it's like it's 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 yeah I, I think it's pretty cool looks like did you both no okay so you can only you can only do it in one direction i thought you could move it the other way but uh, oh you know you can hang on so can you do it both directions and it still goes the same it still ends up looking the same no matter which direction you pull it that's nice right yep 
that's very nice. Probably helpful for people who are left-handed or right-handed or whatever kind of ambidextrous way to do it. That's cool. I like it. And here we have the three Mirai crystals. So I took them out as well. So this is the Mirai crystal for Cure Yell, the pink one, you know. It's pink and it's got a little flower thing because she's kind of flower themed as well because her name is Hana, um, which obviously means flower. Uh, you know, I think it's it's interesting seeing it in person because when I thought, um, when I compared these, when I saw, like, saw pictures of them, I thought, oh, it's just kind of like a, a simple one plain color. But honestly, it is. it does try to actually look like a crystal. There is like that kind of sort of, I don't know what you call it, like a, polyhedron sort of design on it that where there are like angles and stuff that and it's actually kind of tried to make it sort of shine a little bit it's not that much but obviously the uh, it, it, it's better than i thought it would look and it's obviously very the, the gold parts are very shiny obviously they're, they're less shiny if you get like gashapon versions of it but this is like the deluxe version so you know here is the cure Ange one that's it's blue with a feather design pattern motif on it also nice, yeah. I guess they're, they're quite thick as well because you got to put them in there. And then the Cure Etoile, which is a yellow star themed, also very shiny. Like I think they're a bit, maybe they're a little bit simple because it's just kind of the color. It's one color and it's just a design in the middle. But I do think some of the other Mirai crystals are a little bit more interesting. But you know, I just want to also, you know, if we compare them to the uh, the sky tones, which are the gimmicks of Hiragata Sky, which are the only ones I have. Um, actually, they're actually similar size. I thought they were bigger, but honestly, they're actually similar sizing, surprisingly. I thought it was, a. I guess it's a bit taller because of this bit, uh, whereas this one, like I can show you as well. So the where the little uh, things on, on the back, which should just, you know, tell you which buttons it presses that, so it actually, you know, makes a different design. So, you know, I kind of thought, oh, maybe the sky tones are smaller, but they have the spinning design, the spinning gimmick. And this one obviously has no spinning gimmick. These, these ones don't have gimmicks. Their gimmicks are just, it just looks pretty and shiny, whereas these ones have gimmicks, which is, so, you know, I, I, I do hope they continue along the line of having the little collectible things have, have a little gimmick like this that makes them a bit like a toy on their own, but we'll see. Now, if you will excuse me, I am going to go and see how to get the batteries into this thing because I want to try and see if it actually works. But, all right, the, the, the batteries are in. The, the interesting thing, honestly, when I was trying to do it is I thought I would need like a screwdriver or something, but it turns out this one doesn't have a screw on it. It is just a thing there and it basically says you just take a long, thick, thin stick like a toothpick or something and just put it like put it in there and kind of open it like that. It's interesting. I don't know if that's like better or worse than having uh, having to use a screwdriver to open up the screws or not. I don't know if it's good, better, or worse for kids or whatever. Maybe accidentally opening them and you don't want them and then eating the batteries. You don't want your children eating batteries. That's a terrible idea. So, uh, but yeah, that is all good. So I guess now it is the moment of truth, the time to turn this on and see if it works after five years and everything is working properly. All right, ready? I'm gonna I'm gonna flip the switch. Three, two, one. Interesting. Okay, that so it's working. That's good. Also interesting. It started with game mode, and I wonder why. Okay. Yep. That's a, okay. All right. I'm gonna have to figure this out. Yep. Okay. There was, it's saying like, oh, the, I think it said the blue button, you, you change things and the pink button's confirmed. What's the yellow button do? Oh, that's cute. The the blue button gives you the, 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 the phone game. That's oh that's cute. You press then you get the old dial tone. Did 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 did, children, did the kids even know that that's what phones are like? That's cute. You can actually use it as a phone. Now oh wait, unless unless I need to put in a Mirai crystal and that's how you get Right, so then you say Okay. 
Okay. Yeah. So I'm trying to understand what it said. It said was, uh, yeah, you use the yellow button to change the game mode, and then you use the pink button to confirm that. And then if you don't press anything, it goes back to Thailand. If I, what happens if I press the blue button? Oh, I think I know what this is. So it's saying like to, to, to talk with the pretty cure or play with the pretty cure. And then you to choose which button and you press pink. Oh, that is that is very cute. Okay, uh, I I I kind of just need to unpack this because that's there's there's a lot more here than I expected, which is pretty cool. So okay, so right. Oh, and actually that makes sense because uh, so the blue button has a little. You can't really. See, oh, you can kind of see the blue button has a little phone icon on it. So it's like that is the 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 game phone mode. So the phone mode you can choose which character you want based on the color that's lit up on the screen um you know obviously pink for hana uh blue for saya and yellow for hamare and then you you press the pink button to confirm and then you it's like you get a phone call and better comments from them and i think you press the button you press the button to confirm the phone call and then you have a conversation like a fake phone that's that makes sense that's very cute meanwhile the yellow button which has a little musical note symbol on it is for other games and so you choose one of those two games, like a melody game and a hug town game or something, and you press the pink button to confirm it. That being said, I'm not here for the game mode. I was looking for the transformation stuff. So I'll see how that all works. So I think my guess is maybe to, maybe it's just because I have this thing on. This is like the, you know, so you just, it doesn't look like it just has a random thing with a bunch of empty holes in it. Um, so maybe it's just if I want to actually trigger any sort of transformation, I have to actually put one of the Mirai crystals in. Unfortunately, I, did, I don't have a... It doesn't make any noise if you just place that in. Probably because it actually... It's probably because it doesn't press any of the buttons. I don't think. Maybe it does. It's really hard to tell, honestly. Um, so I guess then if I want to try and do it, if we can get a transformation or something going, I'll put in, of course, the beginning one, which is the the... Hunter's Mirai Crystal. I think they just call it like it's not. They're not given names in the show, but they're given names in merchandise. I think so. Let's just nicely insert this in, like. Right. Okay. So it starts in there. It says change it to heart mode to start the transformation. And then what does it say? Yeah, they say touch the heart to start the transformation. Okay, yep, that's basically what I expected. Now, is there any more prompts that show up? Okay, is this saying that doing heart touch does the attack? Let's see. Yeah, yeah, okay, that makes that makes sense. That all makes sense. So if perhaps if I can start it back. Okay, when you just turn it back and then it just goes into game mode. Interesting. But then what happens if I turn it into... Okay, yep. And then if I just do... Yeah. If I do that with Do you know it? 
I'm just okay. Yeah, it, it, it's just I just want to just try it out and see all the different things that it does. But yeah, I think that's that all makes sense. It is very much a okay. So the way it works is the, the way you do it in the show is it is like okay, it starts off as the, the phone, then you put in a mirror crystal, then it says, Hey, to start the transformation, first you put it into the heart mode, and then you press this button. And you need to do that while the mirror crystal's in there, and then you know that's when you get the transformation to work. Also, while you're pressing it, um, while the transformation music is going on, you press the button like three times, and it makes the like cute noise. The other reason it was like why I wasn't really that tempted to buy it when it first came out because it's like it is a little bit like a little bit too girly almost, where it's just like you're just making weird sounds with your transformation, and I'm like, you don't need that. You don't really need that. It's just kind of, it's, you know, very, this is a children's toy kind of thing. But at least it all works. <laughs> That's great. I don't even feel like we even really need to on camera show the, the these ones because I'm pretty sure you sort of know what it is. It's basically the exact same as the pink one. It's just, it's a different person, different character saying the, the all of the lines, basically. So other than that, it's pretty much identical, I think. So what I'm really interested in, uh, well, first of all, this one, which is not a transformation one. So it's probably going to just make, make a sound or something. And these two mystery ones. I, okay, sometimes they, they, they say like, oh, bye bye, when it's, uh, if you're not doing anything with it. But all right, I'll do some of these things as well to sh see what happens. So, first of all, let's try this one. Oh, interesting. So it actually, you do get sound from Kyomashiri. Interesting. I mean, I knew that, like, you know, pretty much the moment that this thing came out, people started doing the toothpick method to figure out all the combinations and figure out you know, that there was Kyomashiri and Kyomashiri were transformations in here as well. And they were going to be the new other characters. I didn't realize they actually have those ones as well. That's also probably how they, like, immediately figured out who... Um, who, who, who like the vo they were from like the voice actors and all that kind of stuff. So, because um, Yukari Yukari Tamura is uh Kiwa Amuro and her her voice is very distinctive. So, uh, let's try these other ones then. Can I actually? Let's try. So let's try this one. Okay, I need to just check what the others look like so I know I'm putting it in the right direction. So you got to put that little notch thing goes at the top. So it's like this. Let's see what this does. Let's see. Yes, it is. This one is Cure Masteries. Okay, you can actually keep doing that as many times as you want, but... Okay, so these are actually Mashiri and Amor's transformation ones, but not the Mirai crystals, just the plastic bits. <laughs> That's so interesting that they gave that to me. That's very nice. That's very nice of them that they did that. Uh, how do I get these out? <laughs> That's the one problem with just only having the plastic bit. It's kind of hard to get this out now. Mm. Got it. Okay, then if I'm right, then this one should be Kyo Amor's one because. Okay, I think it's like that. Yep. Yep, yep.
Wow, talk about a bonus. I was not expecting that. That is very nice of the sellers. I, I Once again, I have no idea how they got these. Like, I guess, did they take them from previous Mirai crystals? And then, what, they just sold the these bits, but without the bit that makes the... I, I, I don't know. It's like, I mean, I think the coolest the coolest thing would be if they somehow, like, 3D printed these out. But if they did that, they could have... No, I was like, they could 3D print the whole thing, but then it would probably would look as good because this is just, just need the clear plastic thing. But that that's my theory, or at least my hope. I mean, I hope they didn't just steal this off somebody else's ones because then, like, what if somebody wanted to use them for their intended purpose? But I appreciate that they gave that to me, so I can't, I don't miss out on any of the um, voice lines in here. Even though, once again, you can see there are those five toothpick not too big those five little things and you know pressing those down are what trigger the voice lines and if you have a if you have either a, a thin enough nail or a toothpick or something you can just try and press those in it manually in other combinations so that way that's how you hack the toy that's how you get all of the different sounds including the sounds for the characters that haven't been announced as characters yet so you know i, I was just thinking i was gonna have to do that but the fact that this they they gave me the other the other two even if they're just as pl pieces of plastic it was very very nice and very appreciated i'm i'm very happy about that I could go and look more at the game mode and stuff and all those things. But like, it's just really with voice lines, just different voice lines. And the little heart illuminated symbol has different options of colors that it does. It's not that much in terms of interesting things that it can do, but there's a lot of stuff in here. There's a surprising lot of stuff. It helps that there's three buttons instead of just one. And it also helps that, you know, there's like five different characters voice lines and stuff that I can put in so uh but I think at the very least if I if I keep going through every single feature this might be end up being very long and I think it's all right because I think I think everyone's probably gotten the gist of it now this is the pretty heart this is the transformation item for the 2018 2019 season Hugto pretty cure which is my favorite one it cooks it's great I guess in a way I'm not directly financially supporting this I'm financially supporting the second hand market but you know it's it's nice to know that I have also just like I can have the Mirai crystals and I can keep that in my collection along with all of the sky tones. I actually got, um, you know, afterwards, I, you know, I, I've actually been following them, all of them. And I've got like all of the characters, including, um, I've got a little box here. And yeah, you know, I've got the Cure Wig one and I got the Cure Butterfly one and the Cure Majesty one. The wing one is the one that feels the best to, 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 to spin. But I got this little, my melody box where I started just putting them all in because it's cute and stuff. If you're interested in seeing the other things, the other sound voice lines and stuff that it has, I mean, sure, ask if you want me to do another video about it because I could do it. I could go through in depth. It's just this video is getting pretty long as it is for something that is essentially just an unboxing. So I'm going to watch Wonderful Pretty Cure the first episode today as well, and we'll see. Hopefully that will be good. I don't have the highest expectations, but I never have the highest expectations. I didn't have the highest expectations for Hugto because they were good, like the beginning of the season. It sounded like they were really leaning into the whole like motherhood aspect. And I was like, oh, I don't really like that. But it, it, it cooked. It cooked hard. And it made me cry a lot in 2018 and 2019. So, yeah. Uh, if I buy any out of random stupid things, you know, you know where, you know where I'm going to randomly talk about them, this YouTube channel. Really, I'm just happy to be here and happy to show everybody my random niche interests that maybe other people don't care about. It's something that I enjoy sharing with others. So the fact that I can potentially even find a bigger audience than just people in real life by posting this online, you know, I appreciate it. I appreciate all the support and people who get enjoyment out of my content. It, it, it's nice to know that you can give enjoyment to other people just by basically existing. So I'll, I'll see you guys soon and have a good day.